Aeon Group was founded in 1758 and was legally incorporated in September 1926 as Okadaya. In 1984, Jaya Jesco store Sundia Berhad, now known as Aeon Core and Berhad, was established in Malaysia in response to the Malaysian Prime Minister Datuk Sri Dr. Mahathir's request to help modernize the retail industry in Malaysia using the world's most advanced management expertise. The company is in the retail industry, where they are principally engaged in the operations of a chain of departmental stores and supermarkets, selling a broad range of merchandise from clothing, food, household products, other merchandise and property management services of more. The only country they sell to is Malaysia. For more information, you can visit their website at www.aeonretail.com.my. Revenue and gross profit was rising until financial year end 2020 as a result of the economic lockdown caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, though the impact wasn't that severe. Operating profit dropped more than 40% from financial year end 2013 to 2016 as Aeon incurred higher operation costs due to the poor consumer sentiments and new store openings. Fortunately, they managed to control their operation expenses after that. The fall in operating profit in financial year end 2020 is due to the pandemic. Very steady profit margins overall. However, the graph displayed a slow declining trend in line with rising operating and interest expenses. A large drop in ROIC as Aeon's net earnings had been falling despite the rise in capital, suggesting their investments on certain fixed assets and working capital are not generating favorable returns. Their falling in net profit is illustrated in this chart. Nevertheless, the management has been conservative with their remuneration, sitting at less than 4% remuneration to profit after tax ratio on average. Aeon was a net cash company until financial year end 2014, where they start to purchase more fixed assets. Since then, they have become a net debt company while their cash was dropping over the years. Though a commendable aspect about Aeon is their decent operating cash flow growth, where they are growing positively. Nonetheless, there are times where operating cash flow is falling due to their bumpy operating profit and working capital. A high capex incurred in financial year end 2013 to 2016 as they bought more properties. Aeon paid dividends for 10 consecutive years, though the payout starts to decline in financial year end 2012. Negative free cash flow was incurred in financial year end 2013 to 2016 due to the high capex spending. Dividends payout for financial year end 2013 to 2018 is possible as Aeon has a lot of money in their bank account. Overall, I rate their company 4.6 out of 8, which is 57.5%. After analyzing Aeon's 10 years of financial data, here are my thoughts. Number 1. Although sales are growing steadily, their bottom line is moving in an opposite direction. This suggests their business expansion and debts that they are incurring had pressured their profit margins severely, and hence those investments may not be a wise business decision executed by Aeon. Not to mention, online delivery platforms such as Shopee, Lazada and even GrabFood had caused Aeon to lose their competitive edge in the retail department space, as the pandemic had changed the consumer lifestyle where they yearn for more convenience like having the products delivered to them. Although Aeon is slowly expanding their business towards digitalization, it is very hard to compete with all these competitors, especially in terms of marketing and generating brand loyalty. However, are there any positive catalysts about Aeon's future business? Personally, I don't really see it unless they can deliver a more profitable and competitive business strategy that can fight for market share with Shopee and Lazada. Other than that, they will need to start planning a fixed dividend payout policy to retain their shareholders. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button for more analysis like this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll be happy to get back to you. With that, I'll see you on the next one.